is the last step. Uh, we have just calculated the uh, corresponding glucose concentration uh, in our assay for these 40 microliters and uh, we calculated that this absorbance here gives us actually a concentration or is equivalent to a concentration of uh, what we just calculated in the uh, assay. I think I made a mistake uh, in the Excel uh, where I gave the wrong units, but uh, we can see the glucose units uh, are in microgram per milliliter. So therefore the result should also be in microgram per milliliter. So um, what we got here is the equivalent of 18.1 microgram of glucose per milliliter. So that is what we have here in this uh, in this cuvette. And now we need to figure out uh, our dilution factors that we had. So let's figure out what is the dilution factor here. We took 40 microliter and placed it in one milliliter. So our first dilution factor, first dilution factor, uh, that would be we have a total of a thousand uh, microliter and we had 40 microliter in it from our diluted honey solution. So a thousand divided by 40, that gives us a dilution factor of 25. So uh, this 18.1 microgram per milliliter is basically a 25 fold dilution of what we have in the diluted honey. So we can very easily calculate that. Uh, the concentration in the diluted honey, diluted honey concentration, that would be just simply 25, namely our dilution factor, times 18 point. Uh, what was it? I think it was 1.5 here. Let's do it. Uh, and then round later, 18.15. And I quickly do that here on a calculator. 18.15 times 25. This gives us 453. So that is 453.75 microgram per milliliter. So that is the concentration here in the diluted honey, 453.75 microgram per milliliter that we have here in the diluted honey. And now we want to figure out um, how much we actually had in the undiluted honey. And again, uh, we have a 0.1%. Um, so uh, this is uh, quite easy uh, to uh, calculate because 0.1%, that is just simply a thousand over one, that would be the dilution factor for this. I should write this as dilution factor equals uh, a factor of 1000. And that gives us 0.1%. So what we need to do is we need to multiply our concentration of the glucose in the diluted honey just simply by 1000. So for the undiluted honey, undiluted honey, we would get 430, 453.75 microgram per milliliter times a thousand. 
um, because that is the dilution factor that gives us this 0.1%. But what we can uh, also do is instead of multiplying that and getting a large number, we just simply say a uh, microgram times a thousand gives us milligram and we would get uh, just simply our result as 530 553.75 milligram per milliliter. And that would be the concentration of the glucose in the undiluted honey, 553.75 milligram per milliliter here in the undiluted honey. So we have taken into account the uh, dilution steps. So here we've got a dilution factor of 25. So dilution factor of 25 here. And here we've got a dilution factor of 1000. And uh, the absorbance we got from the standard curve. So I hope this uh, actually makes sense. And uh, this is gives you an idea how you can actually uh, easily calculate the concentration of the uh, of glucose in a honey solution. Thank you very much for watching.